Hello, and thank you for joining me on 8. I am Maggie, and I really appreciate you supporting me here. So what I've been working through is the Brian Scott Reality Con 3 Creativity Challenge, and I am on day 23. And so as I've been kind of going through, I've been just looking at, you know, what's touching my heart, what's creative, and what might be positive to share with the world. Because there, God is reflecting back to you in everything. So this is the quote. This is what I'd like to share with you. I saw this um, in my go comings and goings in life. But it said, I learned I could be both wild and holy. Okay, so looking at this, it's funny how a lot of times when you're in the world, there always has to be you know, something's good or bad. And when we, you like, it's always polarized, frequently polarized. But as we begin to grow in our spiritual path, we begin to, you know, our relationship with God one-on-one, -on -one, we begin to alchemize these things. We begin to realize that the poles are merely temperatures and that you are somewhere within the thermometer of that energy. And I always find it so interesting that in certain ways, certain people, both men and women, I've been experiencing life as a woman, but it's like we have these things where, you know, you can only either be this or you can be that. And a lot of times you, you're told that if you want to be a holy woman, you must sit in a certain way, and you must act in a certain way, and you must be in a certain way. Now, nothing's wrong with self-disciplining oneself and being an elegant woman. I love that. I love studying about being an elegant woman with Anna Bay. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is when that becomes, instead of like discipline, it becomes like oppressive, and it causes you to turn the back. On what is natural in you what is a beautiful holy wildness and that's when I don't like I don't like when we have to put people in boxes and then the people stay in those boxes the rest of their life so I really love this quote because it says I learned that I could be both wild and holy so an example of this is that um, lately we've been having really, really crazy weather here in Hawaii. And what was very interesting is with this last storm, we actually had hail. Now, of course, there were high winds, gusts, um, the volcanoes erupting, all these things. Now, somebody, like on the Big Island, Mauna Loa is, you know, and Kilauea are erupting. So you're looking at all these things and you're just seeing like, all this wild weather. But when you actually just sort of sit in the midst of the storm, you also feel the holiness and you feel the presence of God. Sometimes it takes sort of something, you know, a shock to the system to make you realize the holiness in the middle of the wild. And you see wild animals um, there was a beautiful picture I saw recently of this photographer who showed an animal shedding its velvet, shedding its, the antler things. Like, I'm not great at what these things are, but I had never seen something in my life. And if you could see, I think it was a moose, if you could see its face and as the antlers were being shed and it was like this bright, pink color which I think you know it sort of looked like um, bloody like it looked like fresh fresh pink tissue uh, but it was just glorious and this is wild and you know I'm not saying that you know this kind of what we've been taught through you know movies and things this wild recklessness that's harming others but there is a part of you that's wild and it's beautiful, and it's sacred, and it's holy, and it's there to cleanse 
and to purify and to lift your energies up out of the lower, sometimes apathetic places. And it's meant to spark you on and inspire you. Now we are absolutely with the Common Sense Show. We are not here to harm anyone. We're here to upgrade the planet. But I wanted to just let you know that if you have this beautiful wild side, the wild side that harms no one, but loves to get into the universe, loves to get out and dance under the full moon around a fire or no fire, that loves to jump into the ocean in the night or the morning, maybe do things people don't always think is jump like Wim Hof, jump into an ice bucket. Might be thinking it's wild, but I want to let you know there's a holiness in your wildness. And so be wild. <laughs> be wild in the most holiest ways and honor yourself and be very in touch with what that wildness may be communicating to you. So that's my creative thought today. Of course, be use your common sense. This is not like this, you know, media type of, you know, wild bucking against things and harming others. I'm talking about that raw wildness in you that's natural, beautiful, and is one with the creator. So thank you so much for joining me. And on that note, be wildly holy <laughs> and i just appreciate you when you do get a chance hit that subscribe and like and leave your positive comments thank you so much i really do appreciate you all right and you know what's next peace in peace